Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to start Webuzo admin panel configuration. If this video is informative, please like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more updated. Let's start the lab. So I'm uh, logging with the Webuzo admin panel, which is a 10 10 10 22, and the port number is 2004. This is the port number of admin panel. You can uh, uh, perform the every kind of admin task like script update, script deployment, everything with the admin related tasks. You have to uh, configure from here. So this is a very good admin console uh, i am installing the free version of abuzo admin console and you can use also the paid version of it so and you can see that the admin uh, portal login portal is also attractive here so i'm just logged in so this is the abuzo admin panel So my domain is configured here so you can see that the this is my license and my license is free if I want to buy license you can buy license from here you can see the pricing also here or you can enter the license key over here and my IP address of the server is this license is not expired because it's a free license but uh, there have some limitations to configuration so uh, it's a little good uh, uh, control panel I guess so my web user version is 2.8.1 so this is my home tab okay and now next I want to go the settings what are the settings I have I have to see that first go to the general tab in the general tab you can see that there is a software paths where the paths are uh, software is located load loaded you can edit settings to change the path this is the script path where software coolers is the script path and there are some settings you can here set the url these are the ge some general settings it is a vps or something you can check uh, that box you can change your uh, admin email address over here you can choose a protocol to log in here you can choose a color there are lots of settings you can see here and beside beings you can see the end user panel settings if I uh, in the, my uh, next few videos I will show you the end user panel which is most important uh, of the web user so what will be the end user panel setting there are some settings are right over here so we can uh, configure it the end user settings from here but the end user is created from the next admin panel which will show you uh, in the next video so you can see that lots of settings are over here even there is a backup setting side pad settings and email settings also you have end users features you can disable some features and end user end user remove option also have their social media settings is also configured there and auto upgrade settings is also there so these are the all of the general configuration of webuzo next i will just go to the webuzo configurations you can change your ip address primary ip address of webuzo can change the domain name and these are my webuzo uh, name server records you can change also and update it it will change if you want to change the webuzo admin panel password you can change it over here you can type your password and retype your password it will change and next is webuzo e SEL. you can save, save some permission uh, here you have if you select this disable ssh login so i cannot log in this server with the ssh so there are some panel it's actually the configure the sent to us 
not the admin panel so you can disable email okay so i'm leaving everything empty email settings here you can set your mail server smtp server or a php mail server whatever you have you can set it uh, i can set a email address a username and password so you will get uh, notifications from that email server next select top script here you can see that there are so many scripts are showing below the top script which you are using uh, in the uh, end user panel you can just select it the script name you just select the script name and just do it here and save the script so it will uh, save into your control panel okay end user control panel next categories you have to set your categories from here uh, you can the there are multiple categories are here so if, uh, if you uh, you can there you can see that i just saved the category over here it is uh, this part is you cannot change it is uh, taking by default next error logs if uh, Webuzo control panel have any error uh, uh, so the error log will store under var software coolers error so the, all the errors are stored here you can clear the logs all the error will gone auto upgrade features you can uh, auto update or uh, auto upgrade the any applications uh, or uh, scripts uh, is already installed in your uh, Webuzo admin panel if sup suppose I want to uh, uh, site pad I don't need to update this so just click on it uh, so it will automatically disable the update so by default all uh, updates are automatically enabled so email templates are over here you can set uh, your email templates there are lots of email templates are having there so you can set your own email template or you can edit the existing email template import export you can import you can choose file you can import uh, your script or something or you can export uh, your settings not script your settings you can uh, suppose you have another webuzo server you just export the settings and you just import it here so all of the content that automatically uh, uh, reflected from this webuzo control panel you can manage your webuzo uh license key from here and uh, you can set the email address also here if you purchase the webuzo application there are software under software you can see that there are some general script these are the general script which is running inside the uh, webuzo end user panel if you don't want script you just uh, just uncheck that uh, that script will not work okay custom scripts you can add some custom scripts from there but this custom script option is uh, not available in a free version if you want this custom scripts you need to buy the webuzo application advanced settings <coughs> excuse me and advanced settings no results found this is also available in uh, paid version script requirements so which scripts you required there are uh, uh, so many scripts are there we i just see saw that uh, in few minutes ago we just add some script into the webuzo admin panel and these are the default scripts uh, which is already installed in uh, the webuzo control panel you can manage your what wordpress sets sites so you can create webuzo wordpress plugins from here if you already have a plugins like theme or something like that next i go to for updates so my webuzo is current version is 2.8.1 and the latest version is 2.8.1 so uh, don't need update yet so i'm running the latest version of webuzo software and then the installation part there have some uh, installation part over here so 
you can uh, run script by user you can run script uh, by groups by domains you can run here so these are the installation part there are all based on the script okay so end user panel if i click on that the end user panel will open so this is my end user panel which is i talking about so i will uh, show you the end user panel uh, in the next video I'll just go back right now if you want to log out uh, you just log out for the webuzo admin panel so this is all the brief of uh, webuzo admin panel configurations uh, so i hope this video is informative if the video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel and we will see the webuzo end user panel in the next video see you thank you